So we got some goodies. The Tully Exporter Pro. Yakima Slim Shady the sh uh, awning. And a Tapui Kukunum Sky 3 in the Haze Gray. So <clears throat> looking at a lot of different options. Started looking at weight. And this Tapui only weighs 130, 40 ish pounds. And the other one that I was looking at was the CVT four person tent, and it weighed 200 plus pounds. And that's a lot of weight to have pretty high. I mean, this is a three quarter ton truck, so it's not like it is going to hurt it, but when you start getting, you know, kind of an off road application, then that's where things get interesting. So this right here uh, can hold 450 pounds, and it doesn't list whether it's static or dynamic. Um, so I've done some research on it, and from what I've seen, it's believed that that is dynamic, which means while you're driving, and your static would be, you know, probably times four, like an exponent of four. It's usually how they do that on the engineering side of things. But it could only be exponent of two. Either way, uh, there's lots of people that have used this, even with heavier tents than this, and have had good results. Um, there's even guys that have used this on a four-person tent, and not had any issues. So with this uh, very lightweight, 130 pounds, 130 to 150, depending on how it's, you know, how you have it configured. Uh, you know, it's uh, it, it's going to be all right with this tool. And you have to excuse me because I have a cold. <clears throat> so we're going to get this uh, pulled out. We're going to get the tool set up. And we're going to get the tapui set up, and then we're going to get the Yakima Slim Shady set up. So opening up the box here, um, you have the laterals and then you have the verticals, and then you have the base. And the way this base works is basically, um, you set this on your bed, and it's got points that attach here, and it basically comes around your bed, and then you screw it up in there like a C-clamp basically, and uh, holds it down. And then you slide the poles up and through here. You turn this right here to uh, tighten or loosen, and they, the legs, have different numbers on them. So you can get this to focus in here. So the different numbers on them, and so you're not guessing. And so you just set it at the number, and you tighten it down and lock it in place. And, um, and so you can just slide it up and down. Now, you can do it with the tent on, but it's gonna be kind of off camber uh, when you loosen one. So uh, I'm gonna look at getting like a jack, maybe I'm putting a piece of wood up there putting tension on it and then loosening these and then lowering it and raising it. Um, that way, if I don't need the bed and I'm not using the tent, um, or if I just don't need the bed even if I am using the tent, I can just I can keep it lower below the profile of my cab uh, so that trees aren't whacking it. Um, also, it's not um, you know causing a lot of uh, wind dis um, dis distortion and lowering your fuel mileage even more because that's one of the things about these rooftop tents is they will lower your, your fuel mileage. Uh, but for me, I'm, more, I'm not really worried about the fuel mileage I'm, aspect. I'm worried more about trees whacking it and that, you know, potentially tearing up the cover or something like that. But we're gonna look and see, you know, <clears throat> how high uh, we can get it and then how low we can get it and how easy it is to, you know, to go up or down. And so this is the uh, parts that you get. It's uh, pretty simple, straightforward. Um, Instructions are very simple as well. They just guide you through each step. It's all bolt-on. They do give you the tools you need. However, <clears throat> in the first step here, it says to torque to 32 feet foot-pounds using the 732nd Allen key. Now I do have a torque wrench or a torque ratchet. Um, I don't know how they would want you to do that, other than using the German specs of good and tight. Um, everything is pretty simple and easy and cut and dry. The quality of this set is very, very nice, extremely well made. And uh, so again, it's simple and straightforward, so we're just going to get it knocked out real quick. And one thing to note is on the setup, it has you put this piece right here on here like this. And, and you screw it in. Um, but on the other one, this was 
high uh, and portion of it here was sticking up and it wouldn't seat right on this one it's low so um, I just have a half inch socket and it's just if you look in right here it's just a just a tensioner it just pulls that tight against the the aluminum there and so I just um, I'm going to loosen this and then slide it up to where it's even and then just tighten it back down and you don't want to over tighten it's kind of a the German specs of good and tight and so now it is setting flush so that's something you may have to do um, when you, when you do get this, if you get this. So you should never attempt to uh, put these tents up, tents down here by yourself, but I don't have anyone to help me, so here goes nothing. Well, I almost lost it there. I got it up there. A little extra wear, but I have to latch it down. And there's the uh, finished product. So I, the bolts under here, hot bolts in, didn't work. So I did use some temporary bolts I had. But uh, it's pretty secure. I mean, it wobbles a little bit. You know, I guess it's, it's going to. Um, so the ladder is all the way down and it's supposed to be at about a 60 degree angle and uh, what about this I mean this is what, this is what this is now this is a down slope here so but uh, yeah now this will this ladder here obviously uh, takes about a one-third of the total weight and when you first get up in here it does uh, creak a little bit but it's pretty sturdy um, if you go back and forth like this it'll move it but the base is sturdy, just the top of the tent that's kind of moving around here. Um, we did put the, uh, the, the fly on and these, and uh, you can take this off and have a, a skylight in here. And I'll uh, bring the camera in here. I did not put the cover on, I kind of didn't read the instructions. I probably should have, but. Um, uh, I'll have to put the cover on next. <clears throat> so I don't know if we're going to, uh, we may go camping tonight. She wants to go, just test it out. But I don't know if we're gonna go yet or not. I'm kinda sick. Um, definitely gonna rain. It's been cloudy all day, but. I do have the awning still, but I don't know if I'm gonna mess with the awning right now or how I'm going to do the awning. Um, I may save the awning for tomorrow if we go out tonight because it's already 1729, so it's already late, you know, but um, the good thing about this is you can just drive somewhere and pop it up and you're good to go. So uh, I'm gonna take it down now, fold it up and put the skirt on. And I really think you need to for well, because I have it so high, really a step ladder makes it a lot easier on the side. Um, you can do it from the inside, but it's kind of faster and not as awkward doing it if you do it from the outside. So, I wanted to these tips on these uh, come off really easily and super glue them, so it's something I may do. All right. And 
so everything is clear and we're going to uh, fold it back up for the first time. It's a little awkward because of the, the height from my bed, but uh, it works. Folds in right. I thought this would have went further in there when I closed it, but it did not. I can just kind of shove it in there like that. Oh, okay. So when you hit the things in the bottom there, there's two little red. No, you hit the bottom and it releases all the the uh, ladder <coughs> rungs at one time, so it easily just folds into itself. Right, so here's the cover, and it just slides through this tubing here. There we go. <clears throat> so that was a pain in the butt. But we got it on. Never is easy, is it? And so there she is. I also forgot to do the bungees inside that's supposed to pull the material in. But that's all right. So I started with um, 1800. I started this whole thing at 1300. So roof rack in this tent, setting up, getting in it, playing around, putting it back down. Uh, five hours. It's not too bad. And there she is. Sits a little high, but again, I can bring her down if I have to. So here's looking around. Here's from the front, so it's, that's pretty tall back there. But I'm gonna try it like that and just kind of see. Because if you look here, it's pretty high on the roof there. And then the tooling system just you undo those right there. You uh, loosen them up. And then you whole thing just kind of slides up or down. Just loosen these right here and then there's numbers on here. I tell you. I'd probably get something and put in there to hold it in place and then undo them all and then slowly take it down. But I'll have to figure that out. If I had two people, I think I could make it work pretty easy. One hold it and one loosen it and then tie it back down or twist it back down so anyway there she is <laughs>